All right. This is my Red Sea. Doing very, very well. As you can see, nice. And got some new torches to the left, up on top right there. The older ones are on the bottom. See all my frags are encrusting, doing really well. I had a little bit of a hair algae issue, guys, but freaking algae management with the help of the tangs and stuff like that did the job. Uh, went through a little bit of a nick issue with this Red Sea. Lost the Antheus because of the fact that they're so scaly, they couldn't um, resist the... They couldn't build a, an immunity to the ick and the ick overtook them so the basically all the antheas are gone because of the ick issue uh you can see my other tangs have made it i don't have the powder blue i took the powder blue out and i gave it back to the same person that i got it from because of the fact that it was uh getting ick on him he can quarantine him and just sell him off and stuff um i saw the issue starting to occur and then I thought the Antheus can fight it off, but then again, they did not. So, that being said, everything's doing fine, everything's doing good, everything's back on track. Got a new MP10 right there for a little bit more flow. And things are just encrusting and growing like crazy, which is great. Um, come over here. Office tank is doing good. Doing fine. Corals are doing great. Uh, lost my orange passion. Little colony right there. Um, up on top right there. Like right above the Walt Disney. That little frag. I can zoom in. So that little area right there that's now bare. Uh, this guy right here was basically growing too much into him. Uh, right when he touched him once. That's it. He lost and he couldn't fight so lost that guy other than that everything else is doing well in this tank and just giving you guys a quick little update there's my dogs out in the front hey dogs <laughs> um, tanks doing well in the living room Crows are growing thriving gotta start trimming uh, trimmed down that Monty cap in the back over there. It was growing way too big. There was a lot of death under him So I kind of just trimmed him out and now he's starting to regrow again and he's actually growing back pretty big um, Put another little frag right there. What is it? Uh, Christmas uh, Christmas money something like that Other tank right here is doing really good. It's just thriving and um, Everything's just overgrowing like crazy so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with all these polys but you can see I got a lot of little frags right there and just been selling them off for like 10 15 bucks uh, the utter chaos I've been selling for like about 20 25 bucks there's been eight heads nine heads so I just saw them 25 bucks frag the Oompa Loompa is about 15 to 20 and fire and ice right there is um, about what is it 50, 20 dollars for that Mini colony right there. So I try not to sell anything too expensive. Sometimes I just give them, you know, the guys come over, they look at them, and then I just even give them a lower price than what I actually post them for. So, you know, as long as they go somewhere. I got so much stuff growing. It's just, uh, yeah. Well, all right, guys. Just gave you guys a quick little update. Peace. I'll give you guys more of an informed update soon, but this tank right here is gonna be getting an upgrade soon. I think I might be going Red Sea 425XL with a custom canopy top up on top just so I can still put my little tinkerdings up on there. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.